everyone. Welcome to our virtual classroom. My name is Christina Cebanu and today we are going to discuss the topic making invitation. Today during the lesson we are going to learn the new words vocabulary, listen to a text about Andy's birthday party, learn how to make an invitation and complete some comprehension exercises. So, first of all, we are going to learn new vocabulary. Please, take your exercise books and make some notes. Are you ready? Let's begin. The first word is the word invitation. It means the act of inviting someone to go to an event. Let's see an example. I am happy to accept your invitation. The next one is the word celebrate. It means to take part in special enjoyable activities in order to show that a particular occasion is important. Let's see an example. I like to celebrate my birthday. The next one is the word decorate. It means to add something to an object or place, especially in order to make it more attractive. An example, they decorated the house with flowers. The next one is the word party. It means a social event at which a group of people meet to talk, eat, drink, dance, often in order to celebrate a special occasion. Let's see an example. I really enjoyed your party. It was such good fun. Now, let's read Jane's letter to her grandma. Circle the right variant. Dear Grandma, last week I got a present or an invitation. It was my friend Maria's birthday or competition. Maria decorated, cleaned her house with flowers. I have a picture from that festival or party. I made a lot of friends. I want to celebrate or enjoy my future birthday. Hug and kisses Jane. So, now let's see the correct variant. Dear Grandma, last week I got an invitation. It was my friend Maria's birthday. Maria decorated her house with flowers. I have a picture from that party. I made a lot of friends. I want to celebrate my future birthday. Hug and kisses Jane. Now, let's read the invitation and answer the following questions. So, the first one. What invitation is this? This is an invitation to a birthday party. The next one. Whose birthday is it? It is Andy's birthday party as we have in this picture. How old is Andy? Andy is 11 years old. When is his birthday party? The correct answer will be his birthday party is on November 25. The next one. What's Andy's address? Andy's address is 14 Dechabal Street. When will the party begin? The party will begin at 1 p.m. When will the party end? The party will end at 4 p.m. Now let's read and learn how to invite a friend to your birthday party. Would you like to come to my birthday party? Could you come to my birthday party? Would you like to go to the theater? Now, let's see how to accept an invitation. I'll come. Thank you. Thank you very much. What a nice idea. Sure, I'd love to come. Okay, and now let's see how to refuse an invitation. I'm sorry, I can't. I'm sorry, I'm busy. I'd love to, but I am busy. Now, listen and fill in the gaps. 
Listen to me attentively and make some notes. Are you ready? Let's begin. Andy celebrated his birthday last Sunday. He invited Dan and Tina to his birthday party. Mother helped Dan to make invitation to his friends. Andy decorated the invitation with colorful balloons. Now let's see the correct answer. Andy celebrated his birthday last Sunday. He invited Dan and Tina to his birthday party. Mother helped Andy to make invitation for his friends. Andy decorated the invitations with colorful balloons. Now let's complete the sentences with me, us, him, her, them, it. Let's begin. The first sentence. My brother, Tim, always help in the bracket I. Helps me. My brother, Tim, always helps me. The next one. We love in, into the brackets our parents. We love them. The next one. We help in the garden into the brackets our father. We help him in the garden. The next sentence. My grandma likes to tell fairy tales into the brackets we. My grandma likes to tell us fairy tales. I show my picture from Soroka into the bracket my sister. I show her my picture from Soroka. My brother walks in the evening into the bracket our dog. My brother walks it in the evening. Now we have had a great time together, so let's sum up today's lesson. Today we have learned new words vocabulary, we have listened to a text about Andy's birthday party, we have learned how to make an invitation, we have completed some comprehension exercises. That's all for today. Thank you for attention. Goodbye.